Hello and welcome to the 34th video in this series of programming videos Program with Chess Engine in C. So, last video we completed the loop for non sliding piece move generation, irrespective of side, which is good, so minimal code, and now we're going to do it for sliding pieces. And this actually is almost identical to non sliding pieces with one tiny subtle difference, obviously, and that is that they slide. So, I'm going to paste in here exactly the same code inside this for loop through the pieces as by non-slide pieces and we just need to make a couple of changes in here because obviously here we said the target square is a square plus direction but then we need to iterate further in direction or in increments of direction until we either go off the board or hit a piece so what we're going to do is we're going to here say while target square is not off board and we're going to make a little loop around here, like so. And then I'll get rid of this because we don't need it anymore. And now I'm simply going to tab all of this inwards. And then at the bottom of here, after this normal move generation here, I'm just going to simply increment target square by direction. So this effectively, if you imagine you've got a bishop here on b3, the direction was in this direction to c4. Well, now at the bottom of that loop, it'll add again and go to c5, d5 and add again and go to e6 and so on. And it keeps looping whilst the target square stays on the board. And one more thing to do is if we end up with a non-empty square, then we try and generate a capture on it. But then, of course, we have to break out of the while loop. And that's all there is to it. Whoops, with the sliding pieces. Nothing else. The only thing I want to do now is test how these sliding pieces work. And I've added in, as you can see here, and you can download the code, some rooks, queens, and bishops FENs just to check that everything's working as expected. So I'm going to take that FEN there and get the FEN from the clipboard with the rooks, and I'm going to put rooks into the FEN that we're passing. And now I'm going to hold my breath and build vice. And now I'm going to see what moves were generated for the rook, particularly here, on c4. So let's have a look. So a capture on b4 is correct, then it's going c3 down to c1 is correct. It's going d4 over to h4 is correct, c5 to c8, good. So that looks like it's working. We'll just switch the side to black, just to check that black is working. And make and run again, and flip things back up. And let's have a look. Rook on f6 is going e6 across to a6. It's going f5 down to a capture on f3 is correct. It's going f7 to f8 and g6 to h6. Good. So the rooks looks, look like uh, they're working. Now let's go to the queens with white to move this time. So I'll just get the fen from the clipboard and make and run. And I forgot to save vice. So make and run. Okay, so the queen obviously, this gives an idea of the power of the queen piece in chess. There's a huge amount of moves, but it's fairly simple. We've got a capture on b4, we're going to c1, we're going across to h4, we're going up to c8, we're going down to f1, and we're going b3 to a2 and up to d5 with a capture on e6, that's correct, and b5 and a6, good. So the queens also, I'll just check black, look alright, which do a make and a run again. I know it seems a little bit of a pain to do this, but believe me, it's worth checking for the future. So we've got the queen on f6, which goes down to a capture on f3. That's true. g6 to h6, f7, f8. It goes g5, h4, e5, d4, b2, and a capture. Perfect. And 7 h8, e7, d8. Good. Perfect. So the queens are also... Oops, I've just banged the microphone in my hand if you heard that. Sorry. The queens are also looking all right. And the last but not least to check is the bishops. So I'll just make again and run and go back up to here. And we've got the bishop on c1, which is going... Oops, I need to actually get the FEM from the clipboard. The bishop on c1, which is going d2 all the way up to h6 and a capture on b2. And the bishop on b7 is going all the way down to a capture on f3. Yes, it's going to a6 or c8 or a8. Good. So I can be fairly safe in the knowledge that our move generation for sliding, non-sliding pieces, pawns, is now all working correctly. The last thing we need to do in the move generation, which we'll do in the next video, 
is add on the castling moves and then we're ready to substitute these print statements with the actual generate move functions. Thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome on YouTube.